So hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. Let's hop right into it. I don't need to give a recap once again. Here's what happened so far. The search for the remaining orbs continues and having followed the tragic tale of Kai and Michelle's ill-fated interspecies tryst through it to its conclusion, the party set out to sea to try and use Lorelei's harp to reach the underwater nation of Nautica, where they hope to uncover some clues as to the whereabouts of the giant pearl that sank beneath the waves. The harp works, and the salty stallion descends safely to the ocean floor. Once there, the party are granted an audience with Queen Marina, and inform her of Michelle's unfortunate fate. As a mark of gratitude for their having gone to such great lengths to help one of her subjects, she presents them with the green orb as a reward. Their goal in going there achieved, the friends set out from Nautica to seek the remaining orbs with the Queen's parting words still ringing in their ears. All roads lead from the Tree of Life, and to the Tree Return. So after leaving Queen Marina and Nautica, we were headed to an area called the Champs Sauvage. And from there we had two paths that we could take. One took us north to l'Académie de notre Maître de Médaille, which was a prestigious all-girls school for mini metal collectors. Uh, there, the headmaster recognized my marvelous talent at collecting random trinkets and uh, initiated us as honorary students in the academy. Uh, and while we were here, we learned about some uh, rumors that a giant winged creature lived in an area to the east called the Eerie Eerie. And in there, uh, that creature had taken anything shiny it could find, including what appeared to be a shiny silver orb. So, sounding a bit like something that we're trying to collect. We're gonna go to the Eerie Eerie and take down this bird. How long did I practice saying the name? I didn't have to practice. I got it. I had to write it down a couple times while I was setting up my VODs to be getting released out on YouTube. Which, by the way, Vice, hello, for one. Hello, how you doing? And for two, check me out on YouTube. I just put all my VODs up on there. I cut them into like 20 to 40 minute chunks and then upload them. Aha, yeah, so there is an orb nearby. The rainbow is warning me. But no, l'Academy de notre maître de médaille. I got it. Don't you worry. I have a few useless talents. French is one of them. I've only had to use my French like once in my life. Okay. So I think I need to grab myself an exoskeleton. So let's grab it. Same name? Yes. You can, uh, you can get a direct link to it, too, if you do the, the exclamation point YouTube command. Yeah. So how was your... I saw you on Sunday, so how was your Monday and Tuesday? I hope it's going well. I can ride the rotten exoskeleton. That doesn't provide me with much happiness hearing that sentence. Yeah, yeah, here we are. All right. Uh, so I need—I think I need to head through this cave in order to get there. Oh, those are some tricky devils. Healing slimes. It's like a dead end with an item in it. Yoink. Flesh shield skein. Gein. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Alright, what's over here? Platinum ore. Excuse me. Uh, oh, they're running away from me. They're not going after me. They run away from me. I see. Sprig of Slipweed. Uh, these frogs look like they're having a grand old time right now. So I play D&D twice a week. I'm a player on Tuesdays and uh, I'm the Dungeon Master on Fridays. And the dungeon that my players are going through on Friday 
are going through a dungeon that's full of a bunch of humanoid poison dart frogs. And I'm very amused. I'm having a lot of fun tormenting them with them. I want to fight one of these and see what happens. Overtoads. Let's go. A defense depleting song. Oof. That's gonna hurt. Let me get Serena in. So that she can heal Harold next time she gets a turn. I didn't think it would be right now, but for the future. Alright, so that wasn't as exciting as I was hoping it would be. Jump! Yump! Yumpage! Oh boy, I know a certain academy that's going to be very excited that I just found that. Alright, I don't think I can jump high enough to get up there. Looks like it's around the long way we go. This is a very pretty area. What are those? Oh, those are like the... The, the skeleton mounts that I had in uh, the cryptic crypt. I'm guessing that that's what I'm going to need. Yes, I see the, the see those marks on the wall there? I'm gonna have to use those to climb up. Just making sure there's nothing else to grab before I do. Right, let's make sure we get the one that's shiny and not waste our time on the other one. Hey, what's up, Mike? How you doing? Let's go. Just took some time to fight some giant humanoid frogs, you know. Figured you'd be interested in knowing. And don't come back. One of your favorite one of your favorite pastimes. Alright, so we can now ride on this dude and he can climb up this. Boopity boopity boop. Alright, so the question is do I want to head north or south? I think north is the way to go forward, so let's check south and see if I have anything that I need to grab. Yes. Trying to go to sleep. How was my day? My day was good. Electrifying equipment. Lightning, stabs, and lance. Interesting. Uh, I'm working on... Okay, I'll lower the vine down. Then I got a shortcut up here. Uh, in work, I'm working on some automation. So, my I'm a tester. My job is to take in some code, test it, and then tell them why it's broken. And then another part of that is we have tests that run every single night to make sure things didn't get broken with the changes that people made the previous day. And our automatic test tests that are run every night are not finished because the project that we're working on is not... Uh, Okay, do I want to go down there? The project that we're working on is still not finished either, so the testing isn't also finished. But I'm working on the testing now, and I've spent the past two days, and I've written a total of like 200-something tests. I'm losing my mind over here, but I should be able to finish the tests tomorrow. But that's what I did all day. That, and then Abby had the Olympics on, and we were watching the, the tennis. Alright, so what happens if I, if I jump down here? Do I want to jump down here? Oh, I can climb down. Okay, so that's actually not as much of a commitment as it needed to be. Alright, let's see what's on this right path. How were you doing, Mike? I've got a prayer ring. Get a, did you get all your steps in? better have gotten all your steps in. Otherwise, I'll be sorely disappointed in you. Okay. Anything else of note in here? Something over there. Okay, this path leads to that area that I was like getting ready to yeet myself down into, but it turned out it actually wasn't that important. 
anything noteworthy down here? Or is this all just a, another area to fight enemies? Oh! Crap. Well, now I'm just disappointing myself. Yeet. Alright, there we go. I'm almost done with the thing at work. Finally got an account for a platform so you can work better. That's pretty cool. Always good when you finally get those permissions that you need. Got your steps, good. Proddy. For Savvy to go for a run with me today. And then she... She... Once we run the first mile... Like, I run faster than she does, because she's still relatively new to running. And I'm not very good at running, but I still finish my mile about three, four minutes before she can. So I'll run my mile at my speed, and then I'll turn around and get back to her, and then I'll finish her mile with her. And then I'll walk with her for maybe two minutes, two or three minutes, and then we'll get ready to... And then I will run again. Okay, so now I've got that vine lowered. So that's another nice little shortcut. Hey, there's something behind the waterfall for once. But, uh, so after I ran pat I- after I ran, after I walked with her after she finished her mile and ran, I'll usually run to a certain point, Rose Claws, and then turn around to get back to her. Well, because she did, she got distracted on her phone, I ended up having to run a lot further than I usually do. Because she was walking so much slower staring at her phone. So to make up for it, she and I ran a little bit further to get back to the apartment so we could get back in time. I kind of wish I could save before this fight, but alas. Actually, wait, I can save before this fight, can't I? Because I lowered down a rope. Actually, wait, I can just, uh, zoom back and then come back here faster. Finally, a waterfall with something behind it. Mwah! Perfect. Finally, the game understands how it's supposed to be done. Alright, who do I want? First, I want Serena to heal Harold. And then who do I want my lineup? I guess it doesn't matter because I will have uh, an opportunity to change my lineup at the beginning of the fight. I don't know exactly what I'm up against. I'm assuming a giant bird. That would, that's my assumption, anyway. Okay, do I want to go down here? I think I can go down here. Yeah, okay. I think I can jump down here and then climb up here. So there so in D and D there's one thing I'm getting a little nervous about. Like after you finish the boss, there's gonna be like a very big lore dump, which is kinda gonna explain the rest of the campaign to you guys and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna need you guys as a team to spend some time throughout the following week strategizing with each other and because you guys are kind of infamously bad at not talking during the week I'm scared for your your success if you guys can't strategize during the week all right is this the, the thing what are you doing here humans Thing of feathering your nest with my treasure, you got another thing coming. Alright, uh. I think I can get rid of Serena for now. We'll go with Rab. Hey, as long as you as long as you and Abby can start chatting a bit, maybe then that'll convince the others to join in.
Alright, Harvest Moon is effective against flying enemies. Very effective, it seems. Alright, let's go with Frizzle on the Condor. I think a crack should actually be able to finish it. Okay, good. Veronica needs some healing. The bird was not injured as far as I'm aware, so that's that's fine. I'm okay with this. Alrighty then. I like how much damage that does. Alright, is there something I can do to lower its evasion? You believe you could help with help with what? Let's try. I guess we'll try decelerating the bird. And then we're going to heal up Veronica. And we're gonna smack the crap out of this bird. Alright, so we need to stop him from casting spells. That's what we need to do. Or we can go with Magic Barrier. Let's go with Magic Barrier. We gotta keep doing Harvest Moon. Ah, crap. Do you have anything that can... Reduce his spell resistance. Go snooze. Oh, nice! That actually worked! Alright, let's swap in Eric. Let's try Sap. Lower his defense a bit, because I don't want to wake him up either. I'm gonna have Jade defend. Oh, with chatting throughout the week. I hope you I hope you guys can can work it out. Oh, I woke up. I was hoping that Eric would get his turn. That did a lot of damage. All right, I'm gonna actually swap out Veronica for Serena. That's unfortunate. I think it's time for Fuddle Dance, don't you? Not Fuddle Dance, Hustle Dance. Let's go with a uh, Boulder Bringer on him. We'll do a melee attack there, a Harvest Moon here. I want Silvando to get his turn. I'm kind of scared. And Harold's dead. Crap. Okay, we need to swap in Veronica, or Serena, and... Okay, that's what I have to do. We're gonna do a hustle dance just to get everybody's health up to max. <laughs> and the bird's healing itself, so that's it. Ouch. Okay, so let's try slowing you down. What does Oomph do? Nah. Slow you down. Decelerate! Alright, now I need to cast, I think it's... Ding? Yeah. Get Harold back up. Okay, cool. Won the coin flip. And now we're going to heal Harold. And Harold's almost dead again. Alright, we're going to get... 
Eric back in here. Hey, what's up, Fractious? How you doing? We're currently trying to kill a giant bird. <laughs> We're doing great. Harold, why don't you heal yourself? Probably what I should be doing. Silvando. Try burning it. And then you, you can do right as rain, right? Let's do that. Okay, Harold's low again. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep! Yes, he's asleep. Perfect. Here you go, laddie! Pluck it and stick it in the oven. Man, I'm hungry. I don't get to eat for a good... Well, another two and a half hours. Silvando can just do a little dance. I guess he's going again. Accelerator! I'm trying to get it so that Eric can get his turn. There we go. And he can use Purse Cutter. Night, night. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. We win. We did it, darlings. Thank you, Silvando. Only he, he leveled up. Interesting. All right, but this should be the orb we're looking for, right? Don't rest on your laurels yet. Gotta find all six. You're right. We've now found four out of six orbs. So, I believe our next destination is... I think I'm going to travel to the, the academy. And then... I'll check and see if there are any quests left to do. Yeah, we got the Dragon Balls. Gotta summon Parunga and get our wish granted. Alright. Uh, miscellaneous. Quest catalog. Gotta go to Phenomenon. There's somebody in Lonalulu as well that needs help. Why don't we go do that? We'll go and help, uh... Go and help whatever this guy with whatever he needs help with. And then I don't know what my money situation is in order to figure out how close I am to going and gambling. But then again, I'll probably just gamble offline because it's just going to be repetitive slot machining over and over again while I increase my money. I'm looking for that guy. See the little purple dot on my map? It's on the dock. This way. Seems that he wants something. Him and his kid. Nope, not you two. This guy. No, it's not this guy. That guy down there. Okay. Well, we eventually got it right. All right, what's up, my dude? Man, where did it go? If I don't find it, it's only a matter of time before the rest of the guys realize I'm a... Whoa, it's you. Sorry, friend, but I'm kind of busy right now. I don't have time to chew the fat. Wait, you travel all over the world, right? Maybe you can help. I know this is kind of out of the blue, but could you track something down for me? I'll make it worth your while, I swear. Mahalo, friend. Thank you so much. All right, I'll cut to the chase. I needed to get my lucky lady back. She's a wooden figure in the shape of the goddess Lona. I take her with me every time I go fishing, but she's missing. I must have lost her on my last trip. I definitely had her when I sailed up to that uninhabited island way off to the north of here. Guess maybe I dropped her there or something. She's got to sail up there and get her back. Oh, and don't tell the rest of the guys, all right? There's an island to the north. Can I not? No, 
Oh, that's weird. Okay, that's really weird. How do I see the the world? I guess I can't. All right, let's zoom to the Lona Lulu Sea then. Oh, here's the world map. Uninhabited island to the north. I'm gonna guess it's that island that's on the northeast corner that I'm trying to get to. That one in the distance up there. Here, Aladdin can show me the world. Shining, shimmering, and splendid, as far as I've heard. Who needs healing the most? It looks like Jade does. We have not done yet. And then Veronica shortly behind her. <laughs> Veronica is prevented from casting spells. Well, Veronica, that's the only thing you're good for. So now you're not good for anything. So get out of here. I got your back. leveled up. Cool. Alright, forward march. There's a volcano there. I'm guessing that's Hato, right? I mean, how many volcanoes can there be, right? And that's Swords Rust. Hear that shiny thing in the water. This one looks a little fight harder than the other ones. Vacuum smash the otters. Uh, let's try putting the griffin to sleep. Nice. Sizzle on the otters. And crackle on the otters. Well, that was ineffective. Oh, well, that's just a weird turn. Alright, purse cutter on the griffin, kill him. Mech! Good work, team. Veronica learned to bounce. So this is the island, I believe, that he was talking about. Insula Orientalis. I think this is what he's talking about. Found it. Alright, cool. So now we gotta go back to Lono Lulu. But since I'm already at this island, I might as well finish exploring it, right? See if there's anything worth looting here. Anything worth taking. Anything worth seeing or doing. I 
was just gonna say, it's just an island of slimes, but there's also those floating guys, which I don't think quite qualify as slime. I'll take that. Thanks. Silk Blossom. Oh, look, there's some king slimes over there. Cool. I wonder how many mini medals I've missed. I like to think I'm relatively thorough when I check through things, but I'm sure I've missed some. A slime crown. Okay, I can't jump down into the water. So we gotta cross the bridge. The old manual way. Wait, no, there's something in the water over here. I have to go fight another fatty, don't I? I feel like it's required. Bring it on! What to do? What to do? Definitely a little thickums, that's for sure. That didn't do much. Are you ready for this? Okay, rabbits in danger. Hit him with your butt. Yeah, it was a critical hit. Alright, Rab, heal yourself up. Nice dodge. I'm proud of you. down like the punk he is anything in these ruins I'm going to assume that this is locked as always nothing in these ruins nothing in these ruins not even a pot smash it's just all right pink I think we're done here. I think we're done. Zoom. I want to go to Lone Lo back to Lona Lu. Critical assassination. Ah, I got the I got the joke. Got it. Got it. Took me a second. You go straight, Harold, please. Probably can't see because of the stupid helmet that's on his head. It's covering his eyes. He's just kind of guessing where he's going right now. I forgot he's down there. I have to get onto the beach. Lucky Lona, you came back to me. I'm never gonna let you go again. I've been so scared and sad since I lost you. I haven't felt that way since my mom passed away. Ain't no way for a tough guy like me to be talking. Truth is, I never told the guys this, but this figure was a present from my mom. I may look like a stone cold killer, but deep down, I guess I'm kind of a coward. Too scared to sail alone, but when I have Lucky Lona on board, it's like my mom's there with, with me. She has the same smile, you know? When the waves get big and I feel like I can't take no more, I look at Lona's face and it gives me the strength to carry on. Mahalo, Traveler. If you hadn't brought my lucky lady back, I'd have been too scared to ever set sail again. Here, I want you to have this. A warlock. Seriously, I've been a nervous wreck since I lost her. If my mom was still around, she would have chewed me out so bad. One of these days, I'm going to grow myself a backbone and set sail into stormy waters without my lucky lady to keep me company. So what is the warlock?
Clairvoyance card with the power to send spells spiraling into overdrive. Critical spell chance increase, huh? Let's go with we'll replace this. Alright. We are now going to zoom back to the academy. 